Hello, welcome to my spare bedroom. I'm Doug, welcome. Just got this today from Home Depot. Home Depot. Because they're like wicked expensive on Amazon. I'm not sure why. They're so much cheaper at Home Depot than on Amazon. But I don't know how Milwaukee stuff fits. So I kind of laid this stuff out to do a little quick video about the fact of how different everything is fit wise. Carhartt stuff generally runs really big. Adidas and Puma really small. Nike stuff runs small. Nautica small. I wasn't sure about Milwaukee, you know, I didn't know. I don't know. I've got a ton of hoodies. I probably buy clothes for myself, honest to God. Once like every five to eight years, I never go clothes shopping. And when I do, I end up going to like Salvation Army or Goodwill and getting used clothes because generally speaking, five minutes after I cut the tags off of something, I'll have transmission fluid spraying on me or a f hydraulic fluid or just wreck the thing, coffee. So I've been buying used clothes for like the past 10 years. Um, recently, my weight swings a lot too, which doesn't help. So I went from last Thanksgiving, I weighed 235. I was in a 36, 38 inch waist. T yesterday I was 178. And I'm down to a friggin' 31 inch waist. Like a third, I can literally fit between a 28 and a 32 right now. So my weight is just swinging like crazy. And I pretty much had to scrap all my old clothes because they're way too big on me. So I did just order a whole bunch of crap. And not knowing Adidas stuff runs so small, even extra larges, and Puma's the worst. Puma. I have a couple double X Pumas that are smaller than a medium Carhartt. So it's like weird. Nike too. Nike runs small. Adidas runs small. So I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure what to expect with Milwaukee. I went with the large. The official unboxing. I did go with the large. So Amazon's kind of hit and miss too. There's like not all the sizes. Amazon doesn't hit, like you would think they would, but Amazon literally does not have all sizes. And they're pushing 200 bucks. These are almost $200 off Amazon. And it was at Home Depot for like 129. It's a pretty big difference. So with this, you can get the entire kit that'll come with the charger and battery. Let's see if I can get that in frame. It'll come with everything. It's like a kit with a battery and the charger. I already had that, so I went and just got the hoodie only. I really don't need, I've got, already got like five Milwaukee chargers. I don't need another. This must be like a battery holder. How's my frame? Am I in frame? Yeah, sorta. Of. Yeah. It's vacuum packed. That's interesting. I've never got anything vacuum packed before. And I am extremely curious how this is going to fit. So it comes in like gray and red. And the red's nice, but it's pretty bangy. It's a bright, bright red. For sure. I have a feeling these probably run big. Operator's manual. So it runs on the Milwaukee. Oh, it's not like gigantic. M12 batteries. I might have said M18 earlier. It's the M12s. I'm not sure if they will both work in there. I imagine they both will. I don't see why they wouldn't. Let's try this thing on. Here's what the inside looks like. 
Hopefully you guys are picking up what I'm laying down. It looks pretty nice. It looks cozy. I do like hoodies. I've probably got like over a hundred pullover hoodies. All right, so for being a large, it is not gigantic. It is actually kind of, it's like just right, actually. It actually fits pretty well. I don't know if I'll be able to get myself in frame. It does, it actually fits pretty decent. It's not too big, it's not too small. I would be willing to bet most people would want an extra large. It is a little bit snug, but I kind of like them a little. Sometimes it depends, I guess, you know. It's buffalo, it's winter here nine months a year, so you do have to layer. But yeah, it's actually not a bad fit. I like it. I like the fit. I bet you most people probably want to go a size up. It's not like real big. I don't even know where the batteries go. Here's something of a battery looking pocket. Yep. Okay. Bring you guys in a little closer. What do we got going on here? Okay, there's like a cable or a cord. So you do, you will have to have one of these. You can't just use a battery in the hoodie. You'll have to have this special thing or else you won't be able to use it. Why they did that, I don't know. They should have just incorporated that in. Why would they do that? <clears throat> okay. We are connected. Okay, I believe this is like an on off button maybe. Okay, gotta hit and hold it. Not sure, maybe burn through the instructions real quick. But it was just gonna be a quick unboxing. And I imagine you could change the, the heat settings. That's cool, it's all different colors. Probably low, medium, high. That's so sweet. I like it. I hate the cold. I am so ready to move south. I'm just sick of the cold. So, these gigantic ones probably won't be all that comfortable carrying in your pocket compared to the smaller ones. But it'll last longer. Bigger battery. But yeah. Milwaukee heated hoodie. I really didn't know what to expect fit wise. They are expensive, man. I like the coats. The coats can go up to 300 bucks. But no more freezing for me. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye bye.